Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome to a brand new Transport Fever 2 Let's Play. If you guys are new to the channel, I have a whole other series of Transport Fever 2 which you can find on my channel page and which I will link to down in the description of the video. And if you're a returning viewer, thank you very much for joining us. And as always, like and comment, let me know how I'm doing, anything you want me to try out, and subscribe for more videos. So without further ado, let's go ahead and hop into episode one here. And first of all, we're going to go ahead and we're going to take a look at this map. So this is actually a custom map. Uh, I developed it myself. Obviously, it's tropical themed, as you can see, but I'm calling this map the Atoll. And the reason for that is this giant lagoon in the center of the map. Um, if you're not familiar with atolls, take take a uh, take a minute to Google them online. They're they're typically large, uh, circular coral reef formations that can have some quite large islands. Some of them are quite large, uh, with either a fully enclosed or a partially enclosed lagoon in the center that's much deeper. They're really cool. Uh, they're extremely beautiful. If you've uh, ever uh, seen, you know, really high quality pictures or ever been lucky enough to go to one. I have not, but I would love to. And I just thought that it would make a really interesting uh, map setup. So if you guys like this map, I will link it uh, in the description so that you guys can try it out yourselves. Um, and without further ado, let's go ahead and start uh, this, this, this Let's Play. So we're starting uh, January 1st, 1875. I'm going to pause the game because we're starting to lose some money. A couple things. First off, our earnings. These are totally screwed up because this is the remnants of me building this map. And as we know, terrain modification is extremely expensive. Uh, so like you can see, I lost $147 billion and a couple billion extra doing major modifications to this terrain. So this is gonna be a mess for a while, just disregard. Um, we're starting at 1875. I have the game speed paused. I'll probably go to quarter speed. And I think we're going to take this pretty slow for this build. Um, I don't know how far we're really going to get in terms of technology progression. I really love the Steam era. So I think we're going to we're gonna try and uh, stick to the Steam era for a while anyway. I think it would just make this really cool. Um, for vehicles, we are going with the American vehicles. We have uh, English town names, which seems kind of odd. I just prefer the English names. When I play with American names, it's just weird. Uh, me being from America, it's really weird seeing like Seattle and Los Angeles and, you know, Boston and New York just dotted across the map. You know, I'm sure if you're English, seeing Stafford and Honiton... Uh, and Horsham and Farnborough dotted across the map might be weird, but I don't, I'm not familiar with these cities, so it's it's more enjoyable for me. So we're gonna go with uh, American vehicles, English town names, starting in 1875, and that sounds good to me, so let's go ahead and get started. Um, when I was placing these industries, also, I have the ability to place new industries. I'm not gonna use it, I just didn't know how to turn it off. So just disregard that. Um, when I was placing the industries and the towns, I did not, for the most part, pay attention to whatever they were spawning. So this is very organic, at least in my mind. The only thing I did was like down here, I put two farms next to each other. I kind of paired things together the way that they normally are on a randomly generated map, uh, like two crude oils next to each other. Uh, on the random gens, you often see like iron and coal close by. But by and large, the map is very, I tried to make it as organic as possible. So hopefully you guys agree. So one thing that we're gonna set up first is food processing. Stafford demands food. We got two farms here, processing plant here, and Stafford in between. Sounds like a great uh, setup to me. I also have some new mods in this build. So I'm really excited to, uh, to try those out. One of which is um, new bridges. So I have this pack, uh, we get these really awesome uh, wooden bridges to use. And I think that these are gonna be really cool. So I'm really excited to use these. So I'm just gonna go ahead and connect this up, making sure that I use these, um, these islands to kind of hop across the water here. And 
I just kind of need to set this up so that we can get a nice curve in there. And then let's see, if I take that across, I want to get a little bit closer so that I can try and curve that in nicely. We'll connect that up, and then I just need to connect this up right here. So now we have a road running straight through here, and you can see these nice wooden bridges. I just think that these look awesome. If I get around here to the, the light side, I think that these are super attractive, uh, great modded asset for whoever uh, developed them. And now we've got uh, this facility up here. So we can go ahead and add in, I'll just add in a little side road here for our, for our station. So we're, we just need one platform because we're gonna have the same trucks that drop off the uh, food, also drop off, or also pick up, uh, sorry, the trucks that drop off the grain, rather, are also going to be the ones that pick up. So we'll go ahead and add in our station here. Um, and then we need to come back over here. We need to add in a platform over here so I'll just spin this around. We'll try and line that up as best as we can with our in and our out. And I'll probably go ahead and just uh, spruce this up a little bit with a little uh, container area over here. And then one thing that I really want to do in this playthrough, um, I want to do a bit more decorating. So you guys are going to have to let me know in the comments whether you want to see me do this or whether you want me to kind of do it off camera um, and then kind of show you after the fact. Um, so if you want to see me do the decorating on camera, I'm more than happy. I'm going to kind of do a mix here in this first episode kind of some decorating on camera and then I'll do some off and show you. But I just, I'm gonna be really interested in this playthrough of making these look lived in. Um, kind of like how I tried to do with this farm, you know, separating with roads using different uh, terrains in here. I just think it makes it look a little, little bit more interesting. Um, so they're gonna come through and then when they come back, I'll probably have them drop right here. And now we can go ahead and set up this line. So we're gonna come from this Stafford farm all the way to this food processing, and then we're gonna swing by this on the way back. And we will name this uh, Stafford Grain and Food. And now when they, at the first place, I want them to load, I want them to get a full load, but then when they get up to the food processing, just take whatever they've got. Um, available and that should work for now and then I want to go ahead and add in a depot around here could probably squeeze it in like right there maybe could also probably squeeze it in up here this is more of an industrial area so why don't I do that so I'll go ahead and get that in there and now we can get some vehicles on there for cargo we don't have a lot um, these flatbeds can take grain, but they can't take food. So we'll probably have to go with these uh, covered wagons that hold five. So maybe we'll get like six of those to start. We're, we're definitely gonna need more than just six, uh, but six will do for now. And we can see these guys coming out. One thing that I'm also not gonna do in this playthrough, I'm not gonna change the colors of the vehicles. Um, I want to I wanna see how it looks with all the vehicles being their natural, you know, organic color. Um, I think that that could look really interesting. So before we start to lose all of our money, once again, I want to connect uh, Coinsboro and Retford with a passenger line. Uh, a, uh, whatever you want to call it, a carriage, horse-drawn carriage line. So if they come in, I might make a connection right here. Just a uh, strategic connection. It is gonna destroy some buildings, but just so that we can get a good circulation through. So they'll come in, they can turn down here. And if they stop maybe here, that's got pretty good coverage. 
and then they'll come back out and they'll come into Coinsboro and then they've got a really nice circulator right here. So I'll have them stop maybe right there. So now let's set up our new line. And this is gonna run from Retford to Coinsboro. And I don't know if you see this, but I actually have a mod downloaded that changes the colors of the stops. So you see that this is a blue passenger stop. And then if we come over here, it changes the cargo stops to orange, just so that they stand out a little bit better between one another. Um, or that light orange, maybe we'll make it a blue, just cause we're gonna need fuel and food in here. So I'll probably use those for that. And now this is gonna be a bus route later on. And this is going to be, interestingly enough, it's going from School Lane in Retford to School Lane in Coinsboro. That's pretty funny. So this is gonna be the Retford to Coinsboro. Let's see if I spelled that right. Coins, nope, Coinsboro. Uh, and we'll just call this Retford to Coinsboro bus. That should work. And now we need to actually get a depot in here. So I might put it out here by this, uh, this fuel building. Just for now, just so that these vehicles kind of spawn in the center. And we're gonna get these stagecoaches on here and I might get four to start. And we'll see how those operate and we should see them split on their way out of here to go to either end of the line. So he's going there and this one should go the other way. We just speed him up a little bit, perfect. So we should start to see some passengers show up there. Um, Nice. So now that we have those established, I'm going to pause again because there are a couple more things that I want to do. Uh, one is I think that it would be really nice to get a passenger rail line set up right off the bat. So I'm going to go to Honington, Huntington, and Stafford. I think that this will be a nice connection. We're going to sneak right by this uh, processing, this livestock farm. We're going to hop across these islands sneak past this distillery and right into Honington. So to do that, I think we're gonna end up destroying some buildings in here. That's okay. So to do that, uh, I might bring a road out here actually. So if I put that there, let's open our terrain view and just take a look. So I wanna keep it, I don't wanna go up this hill. I wanna keep it down on this terrain and I want it to be relatively perpendicular with this road. So maybe something like that. And now we need to put another station in over here at Stafford. And you can see this hill right here. I again want it to line up pretty well with where we're going. I'm thinking that we're gonna come maybe up and around. We can go that way. Maybe to the left. I'll go to the left. So if I'm going to go to the left, I kind of want this to be angled like this. And I think that the way that we're going to do this is we're going to put this in. Like right there. And now we'll come back after the fact and add in a road. So if we add that road in like that. And I'll pull this straight down to here. Let's see, is that, yeah, that's just automatically gonna curve, that's okay. And then I'll pull this road straight up here and then connect it in. So now that's connected up. We're gonna want a bus stop here. So I'll put a stop right center, uh, right in front of the, the station entrance, and then maybe it'll loop down to like here. Now we can set up a new passenger line. So that'll just circulate around. Maybe we'll make this uh, blue. And this is just gonna be a bus route and this is gonna be Stafford bus to train. And now I just wanna get just one stagecoach on this line, I think, just for now, just to move some people. And now we wanna connect up with track. So we're gonna come out here and I'll probably just take this whole track, this whole road out for now, just that it's not in the way. 
Then we're going to come up here, and I'll probably take this road out as well. Again, just so that it's not in the way. And before we forget, let's go ahead and connect this up. So we'll want a road here, and then I'll probably push a road all the way out there. Maybe take this a little bit further, just to try and get those intersections a little bit further apart. And then we'll connect in there. So now it's at a bus stop. And then this one could maybe circulate just down to there. Because this doesn't have great coverage, so maybe to there. And then this is also, I'll make it that blue color again. And then this is going to be a bus route. And this is going to be Honiton. Hon Honiton? Bus to train. Great. And then we are going to need a depot here. So this is kind of our industrial area. So why don't I put it, where do I want to put it? I don't really want to put it like beachfront. It seems kind of like a wasted use of highly valuable real estate. But with that being said, I don't really have a great spot for it. So if this is going to be the industrial area, then that's what it will be. So I'll go ahead and put that there. And then let's just go ahead and get one stagecoach on that line as well. And now I'm going to turn our terrain view back on to lay this track. So let's see, if I come straight out, I kind of want to curve this way just to make that curve a little bit gentler, more gentle. Not sure what the right word is there. And before we do that, let's let's build our our bridge first. So if I come like to there, and then I curve to there, what kind of speeds am I going to get? 54, 55? It's not terrible. So now we'll come straight across here. Doesn't like that for some reason. So let me back that off a little bit. It's not liking our heights. I wonder why actually. So if I pull that off entirely, Okay. All right. So if I bring that onto there, I think I can make this work now. Bring that straight forward and now, so straight ahead is actually going to collide there. So I'm gonna back that off just a little bit. Try and get a nice smooth curve. now if I just, so what does that look like? Hmm. It's making us do some odd height stuff. So if I just bring that, I just need to see where that edge is right there. And now I'm just using shift M and M to kind of get this to work. So we'll put it maybe to there and we can clean this up with uh, landscaping down the line. But for now, this will work. So now we have a nice bridge over there. We're avoiding this. And now let's see what it wants to do if I just take this all the way in here. We shouldn't really have any terrain issues to speak of. This is relatively flat. So we'll just bring that in. Nice. And for now, we don't need any double tracks. Uh, we don't need any, you know, passing areas or um, I'm just going to add some trees in here into some of this green area. Just to kind of 
make it look a little bit nicer. And if you guys want me to do this off camera or you want to see it, let me know. I'm going to take some off this uh, rocky area. Same thing over here. So just let me know. Let me know what you guys want to see. So we'll just clean this up just a little bit. Great. So now we have a track through there. So now I need to add a new line. And this is going to come from the Stafford Station all the way up here. Uh, that orange color is fine. So this will be a rail line, and this is gonna be Stafford to Honiton. We'll just leave it at that. And I'll probably leave these just the way that they are. Um, and now we can go ahead and get a train on here. So I wanna find a nice flat area to put in our uh, rail depot and the reason for that is that i'm going to actually go out and build a siding into this again i'll probably wait until we've got a bit more money to do so um, but i just think it's going to look really cool so it looks like we have a nice flat area here so i'll branch this off and now if i put in this building like right here Let's see. So if I put like a straight track. Like that. I'll move this. I'll add that in right there. And then I'll get rid of this track. It's a little early to be spending money like this, but I think it's going to look really cool when it's done. And then we'll merge that in there. And now I am going to put a one-way signal right here, just so that if I ever add any uh, any trains on, and this actually should be a two-way. Great. So now let's go ahead and get a train on here. So it's the era of steam. I might use the general, uh, the Baldwin six wheel. It only goes 25, the general goes 28, which is not that much better but it's got almost twice the tractive effort. Um, I don't think we need the class 56 yet. It's a lot more expensive to run, but I think we're getting almost twice the tractive effort at less than twice the cost. So I think the general will be good. And then for passenger cars, I'll probably just get maybe three to start. And now let's go ahead and get this on this line and look at that, we are out of money which is perfect. And before we lose all that money to interest, I'm gonna buy a few more stage coaches. I'll buy four more and I'll just hold them in that depot until these guys get a little bit more spread out. But now let's go over here and look at our train. Just cause these steam trains look so good. It looks so good. And I think this I think this train should get pretty good traffic. Um, we already see some guys wanting to get picked up, which is great. I might actually go into these lines and when they're at North Road, wait for a full load for maybe 60 seconds. Just so that we're getting passengers to the rail line. So now at Grove Road, Wait for a full load for 60 seconds. And we should see we should see a decent amount of passengers move over here so that they can hop on this rail. And then I'm also gonna tell this guy to wait for a full load for 60 seconds. Just that we're trying to run this train full, or as full as we can get it. And we'll see how that does. So now I'm going to go ahead and speed the time up just so that we can get this running. Uh, I probably should have saved some money to add some more V12 
vehicles onto that line. But we're starting to see some passengers get to the station, which is great. Only three. Uh, but I think that this will work really well. And if we just bring this down and just watch this guy cross this awesome wooden bridge. I mean, that looks awesome, doesn't it? I think this is going to be a really fun playthrough. I'm really excited for this map. Not, not only because I made it, but, you know, more than that. So we're starting to see some passengers here, which is great. These guys are spread out, so I'm going to go ahead and put these on that line. We'll speed the time up. And I'm sure you guys are familiar if you've played this game. Early on, getting rid of that loan is the key. So we've, got, we've only got $5 million in loan. Uh, we could take out more. I'm probably going to tell these guys to wait for full loads as well. Again, not for very long, just for like 60 seconds. I don't think it's really going to matter. I think we're going to get enough passengers at these stops that they uh, they won't end up having to wait for very long. I mean, we've already got three here, and these guys are pretty far away out. How many got over here at Coinsboro? Yeah, already got five. So this first guy is just going to pull in, grab people, and leave, which is going to be great. And I think this map is going to develop really well. Um, one thing is getting over to Ashby, Ashby de la Zouk. I'm just going to call it Ashby. Um, they got to go up this really steep hill and you can see that these guys are just crawling up over this hill. Um, so if we ever want to run passenger vehicles over there, we have to take that into account, um, or potentially go around. Like if you look at the terrain, this hill kind of extends like right out to here. So we could go around. And Retford can kind of be our changing changing area uh, if we wanted to like snake a road through there. If we wanted to avoid that hill, just just for uh, realism. I'm not sure how much it will affect the game mechanics, but you know, kind of for now. So let's see, where's our train? How's he doing? So he's got 15, 15 to 42. That's pretty good. 21 waiting at this station. Capacity is 42. That's not bad. I think our uh, our stagecoach is doing pretty well. And as I say that, he's waiting here, and there's no one here. But I think he will do well in the future, which will be great, which will be great to see. So he's just going to bounce back and forth. Got a no good number of passengers here. Tons of passengers here waiting for this... Uh, this bus and let's see how these lines are doing so our train is losing us a ton of money which is to be expected um, just because they haven't really established themselves yet our two inner city buses are probably just about breaking even um, if we kind of look at you know how many passengers they've got like as long as they're taking full loads of passengers they should roughly break even um, and then I would imagine that this route will probably do pretty good. They've got mostly full capacity in these vehicles. Five out of five, five out of five. Yeah, so that, sh that should do pretty well. Again, as these, as these cities start to uh, expand, we'll get more passengers using these routes. And then I really wish that I had saved some money to be able to put some more trucks on this route to deliver some food. Because that's definitely going to be a profitable route. It is our most profitable as of now. And then the train should do pretty well in future as well. So now he's coming in here. He made 134, so he almost covered his running expenses there. Um, so as we get more people using this train, I think that that will go really well. So we got 15 down here. Not a ton of people taking this bus up here to the train. That's okay though. All right, so what else do we want to do? Well, I want to get some more vehicles on this grain route. Just because this is totally maxed out, we could definitely put some more capacity on here. 
Um, you know, th there should start to be a decent buildup. I guess not, actually. Is this one to one? No, it's two to one. Yeah, so. I want to get some more guys onto there. And then another thing that I saw is Retford needs fuel. And there's a refinery here. There's a fuel refinery here, an oil refinery here, and some oil out on this island. And it's already connected with a bridge. So we could set up a little uh, delivery by truck there to this oil refinery, and then we could ship it across. We're gonna have to take out a huge loan to do that, but we could definitely do it. Um, another potential for fuel is Newcastle upon Tyne needs fuel. There's a refinery here. There's an oil well here. And then there's a, an oil refinery down here. Now that is an extremely long run which means two things. One, it's gonna make us a ton of money when it delivers, but we're gonna lose a ton of money in the interim. So do I really want to take that, take that on this early? Uh, I don't know, truthfully. Let's see how our train's doing. Train's starting to do pretty good. So we got a lot of people here. Um, I might, See, what line is this? I might change this back to just do whatever you want. And see how that, see if that works a little bit better. And how's this one doing? Yeah, so there's no one waiting here. So we'll let that one run for now. But we got great numbers of passengers using this train. The train is still slightly... Okay, so the train is now making us a little bit of money. With 32 passengers, should make us a decent amount. So if we just come in here and wait for this guy to get in and see how he does. So all of our lines are now in the positive, which is great to see. 32, so he's 122 running costs. 165 in the positive, so we're good. And he's almost maxed out, which is great to see. Um, I'm gonna be much more careful about adding on too much capacity to these lines. Um, unlike in the last playthrough, when we you know, really started making money, I just kind of went crazy with how many vehicles I was adding onto the lines. So for now, I think we're gonna be a, a bit more cautious with how many vehicles we add on. What I am going to do, I'm going to borrow maybe 2 million to do what I'm about to do. And I'm going to set up this oil right here. So I think we'll use this uh, refinery to start. Let's see if I can sneak one of these in without doing crazy things to the land. Mm, I don't really love that. If I put it in like there. I'm gonna take this road out. I'm gonna run straight road down to there. Connect this one in. And then reestablish this connection right here. And now I'm gonna put this stop right in here. Oh, and I put in a passenger stop. I got some of the money back, but not all of it. Devastating. All right. So we'll add in a little bit. Put some street access over here. Some street access there. We're gonna have to come back and fix this after the fact with some terraforming. So if we wanna bring this straight, straight out to about there. And then I'm gonna set it to this height, just so that when I cut through here, you can see I didn't even make it low enough. So let's see, if I bring this straight, straight out to there. Yeah, that's doing some things with the terrain, but it's okay. 
So now we'll set that up. We're gonna come back and smooth that out, but I just don't have the money to do it now. Now we're gonna take this road all the way up here and we're gonna need a road coming right across here and then a station here. So if I just spin this around, we get that in right there. Delete that. We'll add in our one ways. Ah, oh, terrible. Let me try and fix that. Great. So now that's set up. So now we can establish a new line from this depot to this depot. I hate that yellow. I'll go with the teal. Um, and at Warminster South, I want you to wait for a full load forever. And now this is going to be a truck route. It's all in Warminster. This is going to be crude. And now we need to get some vehicles on here. I don't know where I'm going to, I think I might put the depot kind of right here because it's, it's fairly central between all this industry. So if we just kind of spin that around and we add that in like right there, let's go ahead and get some cargo vehicles on here. I might put like eight, eight to start. And now I'm probably going to have to take out another loan, certainly to buy the ship, but maybe even to put the ports in. So let's see if I kind of spin this around, I'm trying to figure out how I want to angle it. If I put it like right there. Yep. Take out another bunch. I want a large landing. I'll get rid of this. I'll add this road in, and then if I curve it up, how steep is that? That's not that's not too bad. So I'll do that for now. And again, we're gonna have to fix this. I will fix it later on. I don't have the money to do it right now. But now if I spin this guy around. Kind of put it in like right there. We need a large landing. It's crazy to me that that costs a hundred thousand dollars to put in. But I guess it is what it is. Now if I put that in. Curve it up nice and gentle like to there. It is connected. Which is great. And now we need a new line gonna run between there and I might make this uh, this kind of no I get like a purple color and at Warminster port I want you to wait for a full load for maybe 60 seconds and this is gonna be a shipping route from Warminster to Retford and this is gonna be an oil And now we're going to need a truck stop somewhere over here. So I might go ahead. Let's take a look at the terrain. I don't really want to dig into the terrain too, too badly over here. What if I put it in over here? And then move this road. And if I put this stop, I'll spin it around, and I'll add it in like right there. Now I'll add an entry and an exit. Let's see if I can get that to look. That looks okay. And now I need to 
fix this road connection. Great. So now the lines should be fixed. They are. So now we need a fuel drop off. I might have them come down and kind of drop right here on this weird side street and then leave. Keeps wanting me to do this yellow. I really don't want to. And they're going to wait for a full load. And this is going to be a truck route. This is going to be Retford fuel. Great. So now we're kind of running out of money here, but for cargo, I'm just going to put maybe two, two vehicles on that fuel delivery. How many do I have on this line? Already, I have eight. So that should be okay for now. This is two to one, unfortunately. Um, but we do need a shipping uh, depot. So if I just kind of, I'm going to try and get it in can't get it in over there. I kind of want it to be next to the the harbor building. So if I kind of spin this around and can I get it like right there? That looks pretty good. It's kind of connected to this road, which I like. Got a little bit of separation. It's pretty well lined up. I like that a lot. So now, thinking about the ships. The Zoroaster, it's cheap, which is really nice. It's got really good capacity, 90, as compared to 100 with the Derna Castle. Derna Castel? Derna Castle? Um, it's much cheaper to run, it's cheaper to buy. I mean, I could buy it right now. Top speed is close, but I actually don't need a huge top speed. Because we're not going that far. So now, we have no money, we're about to lose a ton of money, and I can't really take out much more of a loan. But what we can do is take a look at our awesome new ship, Zoroaster. That's great. And I can already tell that I'm gonna have to do some terraforming, because it's pretty close. But we do not have nearly enough money for that yet. So now, this should be producing crude, it is, with that terrible terraforming. Gonna have to fix that. And then down here, we've got our nice stop. Come in here and add some, add some trees around it, make it look like it belongs. Kinda make this look like it belongs a little bit. Kinda fill in where that road used to be. Add some, add some trees in there. Again, just to make it make it look like it's, it's here for a reason. Which is nice. And I got some awesome assets that I'm really excited to play with. Uh, a lot of it will depend on me getting more money to be able to terraform. I'd like to fill out this harbor so I can you know build some stuff in here with some new assets that I got. I think they're going to look really good. So let's just go ahead and speed this up. And... I wouldn't be surprised if this makes a full run without any oil. It's entirely possible that that is the case. But let's look at our lines here. So, uh, our Stafford grain and food, that's gonna fluctuate just cause it's a pretty long line. Um, but we can see that it is moving grain right now. So they are on their way up here. So they should make a pretty good amount of money when they drop that off. Our train line is gonna bounce between losing us a ton and making us a ton. It kinda looks like it's moving almost full capacity these days. And as I say that, it's not. Uh, it looks like it might get to about 30 here before it heads back. Let's see how it does. So it's already got 20 here. This guy's moving a full set of, full set of people up. He's going to move almost a full set up to the station, which is good. What about our other lines? Uh, the Retford to Coinsboro line. Making us a good amount of money. Um, let's see how these buses are doing. That one's got a full load. Yeah, so it looks like they've got moderately 
large numbers of people on them. I wonder, I might sell one. Let's kind of see. Do we have any others that are running empty? He's only got two. Yeah, I'll sell, I'll sell one more. Just so that we're getting a bit more capacity on these vehicles. Again, I'm going to try and not do what I did last time, which is completely overload the lines with too many vehicles. I just want to make sure I got this set up right. So he's waiting for a full load for... I'll give him 120 seconds to wait for a full load. Just because these are these are kind of doing a long, a long trip. So it's going to take them a little while to get there. Now let's come over here and check on these. So he's got eight waiting, which is great to see. He's not dropping off any, but that's okay. How many people are up here? Nine are waiting. And he got a full load of people on this train, which is awesome to see. So that train should start making us really good money. We're definitely going on a train ride at the end. So we can see these awesome bridges, you know, nice and up close. So let's see, this is now starting to produce refined oil. And we're starting to get it on the platform, which is good to see. Not, It's not gonna be a ton, which is not ideal, um, but we just need to get some more vehicles onto this line. So we've got 11 produced there. So let's see, we've got how many vehicles on this line? Eight, I think. Crude. Eight vehicles with, let's do some quick math. Five capacity each. So we got 40 oil coming down and it's two to one. So for every trip, they should produce about 20 refined oil, which is not great, honestly, especially because he's already on his way back and he can hold 90. So they're gonna have to almost do five round trips this rate to fill up that ship every time which is not ideal I might take out the rest of my loan just to get some more vehicles on here so let's see if I can I get six more I can, can I get two more okay so we've doubled the number of vehicles on there and then because I can't repay that, I might as well get some more vehicles off this line. Maybe four more. I'll get four more. Now I've got 97,000 left. Where do I want to spend it? I don't think I'm quite ready for more capacity on the train. I could get another bus in here or another... Uh, no, I think the one can handle that for now. I'll just let this run. And we'll just say goodbye to that 97,000. It's already gone. Poof. All right, so we got these vehicles coming out here. We got these vehicles coming out here, which is great. Let's see if my math was right. 19. Pretty close. I guess we lost one on the, uh, the startup. But now our Zoraster should come back, and it should pick up at least a bit of fuel. Not a ton. And now these guys should run through and take a lot of oil up there. So now what do we got? We got 16 vehicles now. So we got 80 oil coming up, so that should produce roughly 40 fuel on the platform per trip. So two trips almost would fill this guy up. It's not terrible. It's not bad. Oh wow, we've now got a ton of people waiting for this bus. Or this uh, stagecoach running in between. Which is great to see. Great to see. These guys are just waiting. Losing money forever. Waiting for the fuel that will never arrive at this rate. So he's got 19 oil. At least our vehicles are on their way back but I don't think that they're going to catch him on this run because he's only waiting for 120 seconds. 
But I think 120 will work once we uh, kind of get some more vehicles onto this line and get a more constant flow of oil over there. Could even do a little rail route up there. I don't really think it's necessary. Maybe. No, I just don't think it is. I think we can do it with uh, with wagons, but maybe not. I don't know. Maybe once we get a bit more money, we can uh, figure that out. Great capacity on this on this line here, this Retford. They're running completely full, going both directions, which is great. Um, our inner city stagecoaches are doing great. Uh, they're getting full capacity the whole time. The train is doing really well. Uh, the Zoroaster, I think it will do better once we get a bit more production at this facility. Like the vehicles that are coming back now are going to do really well for sure. Um, and they should start making us money as well. I'm actually interested to see if they, so they're losing about 5,400 on the trip from the facility, from this facility, from their drop off going back down, picking up crude, and bringing it back. Roughly. Probably a little bit more um, than that, honestly, because I hope that they were in the green. But let's see. Let's see how they do. 9,000. So they got 4,500 to work with to get back down here and then back up. Not terrible. Now this guy should drop off the limited amount of oil that he has. We should start to see some fuel get put into here, which we are. And again, I only put two vehicles on here just because this is gonna work intermittently until we really get this established. Um, so for now, that's really all we can do. And what I might do in the next episode is actually, I'm kind of talking myself into it at this point, scrapping these vehicles and putting in a little rail line that runs up here. Just a little one. I'd, I'd probably even go ahead and use like, I go over to this depot. I might even use like just this little Baldwin six wheel just to move some, just to move a little bit of fuel. Could use the general, but just a little train to run back and forth with some fuel. I think that that would be nice. But anyway, this is uh, bringing us up to the close of the episode here. And I guess I'll I'll hang around for a minute just to see how much he gets. He's got 24 right now. And these vehicles are starting to spread out because they're queuing up right here to drop off. Because they don't have the best loading speed. Let's see if it tells me. Their loading speed is 1. So it's pretty much as bad as it can get. So... But them spreading out is honestly a good thing because it will it will end up with a much more constant flow of crude into this facility. And so let's see how he does with this pickup. And then I think we'll close out the episode and probably go for a ride on the on the train, I would imagine. I've also always found it so funny seeing this like spurt on and off. Like it comes on and now it's off. On, off. But let's see, he's got about 40. I imagine he's probably going to leave here in a second. That's probably all he's going to get because there's no more oil here. But that'll be good for this. And you can even see that there's a little bit, there's enough for one more truckload of fuel to go into the city. You could definitely start getting some more uh, stagecoaches on here. But that is a problem for the next episode. And with that, guys, uh, this is going to bring us to the close of the episode. Let me know what you think. If you guys like the map, again, I'm going to put it... Uh, I don't know how it really works. I've never posted a map before, but I'm going to figure it out. and I'm going to link it in the description below. I'm also going to link a list to the mods that I'm using for this build. Um, and I hope you guys are liking it. Definitely like and comment the video. It really helps me out. Uh, helps with the engagement. Uh, let me know how I'm doing. If you guys want to see me decorate some of this stuff as we go, let me know and maybe I can do like a time lapse or I can do it live if you guys really want to see that. Uh, but regardless, I'm definitely going to show you the things that I kind of decorate. Um, 
in the probably the beginning of each episode stuff that i work on off camera and uh definitely subscribe again if you're new to the channel check out the other series uh, i think it was really good learned a lot uh you know how to make youtube videos and i'm really excited for this series so thank you and until the next time i hope you guys have a great day thanks bye